Connie? Connie, why aren't you saying anything? Um, okay, um, I understand that you must be in a great deal of shock right now. After all, you've been having nightmares all night, and now you've awoken to find, uh, this person who is quite small, quite, um, tiny size, and you probably don't know what exactly to think about this. But, um, I assure you, everything is fine. You are not dreaming, and you're not hallucinating. This tiny-sized human is, in fact, a new friend of ours. Connie? Connie, I really need you to say something, buddy. Um, little one, I, uh, I think I can hear him breathing, and that's a good sign, but could you climb onto his shoulder, put your hands on the side of his neck, and see if you feel a pulse? Little one? Little one, what's wrong? What are you- Oh! Oh, no. Okay, um, he- He fainted. That explains why you looked like you were going to panic and why you jumped back onto my shoulder. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, Connie. Connie, wake up. Connie. I really don't like when you do this, buddy. You need to wake up. Oh, boy. Um, little one, what do we do? I'm asking you because I don't know what to do. And if I don't know what to do, I might as well ask you. Do you know what to do? I am not going to slap my best friend in the face. No, um, first things first, let's, uh, Make sure he's breathing. Yes. Um. Yes. Yes. He's breathing and his pulse is strong. He's, he's alive. He's alive and that's good. Right. Right. He, uh, he landed right on the floor. Let's make sure that he isn't bleeding from the back of his skull. Okay. Okay. He's okay. Um. It seems like maybe the shock of seeing someone like you might have caused him to pass out. Um, okay, uh, do I have any water in here? No, no, I don't, and I don't have anything that smells particularly strong, so we can't use that to wake him up. <sighs> Why do you keep suggesting that? Okay, well, I appreciate that you're trying to help, but I will say it again. I am not going to slap my best friend in the face. Although, I don't know any other way to wake him up, and I can't sneak into the kitchen or into Hanji's office in order to get something that'll wake him up with a smell. I, I really don't want to do this, little one. Really? You could try first? Um, I don't know if that'll do anything, but sure, you can try. Um, was that as hard as you could hit him? I thought so. Um, that was a very good effort, but maybe you should come over here. Okay. Okay, I'm really doing this. I am going to slap my best friend in the face because he has passed out from shock. Okay. Okay, Sasha, you can do this. Just pretend you're hitting someone else. Pretend you're hitting... Uh, I don't know. Just, just do it. Just do it. Just do it! Ah! 
Ow! Oh my god! Oh my god! I am so, so sorry, Connie! What the hell did I do to you? You, you didn't do anything, Connie. You, um, you passed out and I couldn't figure out how to wake you up. So, um, uh, our friend, the tiny human person, um, they suggested that I slap you to wake you up. Um, I really didn't want to, so they tried slapping you awake, but, uh, that really didn't work. You... You slapped me in the face to wake me up? Well, yeah. You kind of passed out. I... I did? Yeah. Because of the tiny human person. Connie? Connie, you're staring at them again. Uh, sorry. Sorry, I... I had to make sure I wasn't hallucinating. I thought that... I thought that the tiny human was... just my imagination. I... I thought I was still... dreaming. Oh. That explains why you weren't saying anything. The shock and the idea that this was all in your head. That must have scared you into silence, huh? Yeah. Um. So. Why exactly is there a tiny human sitting on the palm of your hand? Oh, well, like I said, this is our new friend. Um, Armin and I found them in the kitchen a while ago. You found them in the kitchen? Yeah. They were looking for food. And since we've been setting out traps for rats and mice, I figured they'd be safer in my room. Okay. Um. What exactly are they? Oh, um, they're a borrower. They're a very tiny, human-like creature. And they're very nice. They just borrow little things like pins, needles, tiny buttons and crumbs, little bits of food that you'd never really miss. They do return most things after they're done using them, but with things like food, I don't think we'd want that back after they're done with it. No, uh, definitely not. So, so they're a borrower. You found them looking for food in the kitchen, and now what? Well, now, they're, um, they're kind of like a friend, but also a little bit like, um, for lack of a better term, a pet. A pet? Yeah, um, you see, I have to look after them and bring them food and water because we don't want them getting caught by Levi. You realize you could have referred to them as your child, right? Oh, yeah. That probably would have been the better choice of words, wouldn't it, little one? Oh, um, they... they can speak? Yeah. Yeah, they can speak, and they can understand us. Oh, do you want to introduce yourself, little one? Okay, go ahead. Hi. Uh, as I'm guessing, Sasha already told you. My name is Connie. Um, I'm her best friend. Uh, I was sleeping in here because, well, uh, I... I sleep better with someone else around. Oh, shh, shh, shh. Uh, we don't need to tell him about what I told you, okay? Wait, what... What did you tell them? I... I just told them that... You've been having some... Nightmares, and... That that's why you sleep in here sometimes. You didn't make me sound like an absolute child, did you? 
No, no, of course not. I... They understand certain things about our job, so I explained to them what's been giving you nightmares, and I explained the nightmares themselves, so I personally don't think I made you sound like a child, did I, little one? Oh, so... So you know about... Yeah. They know about... Everything that happened. I... I probably... Shouldn't have told them. I... I'm sorry. I just... I wanted them to... Understand why you were here. They were... Panicking about another person being in the room. And... And I just... I wanted them... To know you like I do, because, well, aside from you and John, they're kind of becoming one of my closest friends. Really? How so? Well, we actually have a lot in common. For instance, we both have to sneak extra food, and we have incredible senses such as hearing, smell, taste, sight as well. And we're both very speedy. Wow. Sounds like you two really get along. Should I be jealous? No, no. After all, I think that they could be a good friend for you too. That's why I told them so much about you. See... Now that they don't have to be so afraid all the time, they've started to let loose a little bit. They've been acting pretty silly sometimes. Really? How so? Well, for instance, the other day, I came back into my room, and they had taken a dust bunny out from under my bed, and they put it on top of themselves and started crawling around pretending to be a mouse. Oh my god. That actually sounds pretty genius. I wish I was small enough to do that. <laughs> I know, right? If you and I were that small, we could totally terrorize Jean by doing that. Oh my god, yes. He would absolutely hate us for doing that. You're quite the little troublemaker, aren't you? Only sometimes? Well, we'll need to work on that. After all, if you're going to be friends with me and Sasha, we'll definitely need to show you the ropes. Oh, yes. We are certainly very ridiculous sometimes, aren't we? Sasha, we got in trouble because we kept posing like different birds in training when we were supposed to be fighting. I don't think... Pretty ridiculous even begins to cover how we behave sometimes. I guess that's true. Plus, I did just smack you in the face to wake you up, so that's... That's another thing we can add to our list of ridiculousness. Yeah, I guess it is. And now I can thank you for the bruise I'll have in the morning. Oh, crap, I wasn't even thinking about that. Um, well, maybe we can try to figure out a way to cover it up. Yeah, uh, maybe. Speaking of covering things up, um, who else knows about this little one here? Oh, um, well, you, me, and Armin. So... That's not a very long list, is it? No, it definitely isn't. Um, do you think it would be safe to tell anyone else? I... I honestly don't know. But maybe we could talk to Armin about it. I'm sure he'd know what to do. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk to him in the morning, okay? Right, good idea. Wait a second. 
What is it? I... Oh, no. Get in bed right now. What? Why? What? What's going on? I hear Captain Levi walking down the hall. He must have heard you shout when I slapped you awake, and he can still hear us talking. Oh, God. Oh, God. Um, little one, hide anywhere you can, okay? Yes, yes. Hide as far away from the door as you possibly can, okay? I promise we'll pretend that we're asleep. He won't even notice that you're here, okay? Just go. Go, go, go. Connie, quick. Pretend you're asleep. On it. That is... Okay, I... I guess that'll do. Let's just hope Levi is convinced by it.